Today, we're gonna to be heading to Rainbow Falls Trail, which is just outside Sedalia, Colorado. We're gonna do some off-roading, some four-wheeling, and you're gonna come along for that adventure. Stay tuned. So we recently bought ourselves a four-wheeler and a five by eight trailer. Now, it was not something that we had planned to do, but it's something that I personally have always wanted to have. I've always enjoyed going off-road, um, both from a off-road four-wheeler standpoint, but I love getting on the water and using sea dews things like that, just those small pieces of power, like excite me. They're so much fun and they bring me a lot of life. They refill my tank when I am exhausted after a long week. And so we made the plunge. We bought ourselves a four wheeler and a trailer. Now we do have plans for this trailer. So we'd spot a simple five by eight carry on trailer, uh, which is just a basic trailer, but we are going to outfit it for overlanding. So our plan is we're going to upgrade the, the wheels and tires. We're gonna, at some point, upgrade the axle and suspension. Um, but then we are going to fabricate ourselves a steel cage that goes on it that can hold our rooftop tent, that we can weld um, storage solutions to it. That way we can free up the Jeep so when we go on long trips, we can park the trailer, have camp set up, but then we can get in the Jeep as a family and go and off-road. And then we have the four-wheeler that will still be able to be carried on that trailer. And then that way I can park and have fun whenever I go on my solo trips or two-man trips. And so, um, and then we're gonna see how much space do I really need in order for me to sit on the four-wheeler, drive it up onto the trailer, take it off of the trailer. Cause again, we're gonna put a cage around it that can hold a rooftop tent. I'm trying to decide if I want to create it in such a way where the trailer can go in the garage, uh, which is how I have it now. So I need to figure out how I make the, the tent platform something that can essentially be on a hydraulic system to where I can drop it down and lift it back up again. So trying to figure that out, we'll see. We're here, we made it, let's go. All right, I'm here with my buddy Evan. We're gonna hit the trails here in just a minute, but let me show you the trailer and the four-wheeler that we're gonna be going with. So, this is the Tracker 700 EPS with that five by eight carry on trailer I was talking about. So the plan is to do vertical supports at each corner and then put that rack along the top. Again, having to figure out how to make that top go down and back up again because I'm going to move the rooftop tent onto that. So, got to upgrade the tires and suspension. Obviously, those things won't do very good. So, 
anyways, we're gonna get this off. And we're gonna get going. All right, so I'm out here with an amateur, first time rider, and he hit just, he knocked his throttle on a tree. <laughs> now his bike won't go. But at least we're out here in just go too fast. beautiful, look at that. Right here in the middle of nowhere, between the off. So we'll get this figured out. All right, so we think the throttle, actually Evan knows the throttle's stuck. But Evan is a mechanic extraordinaire, so we're posted up against a tree and he's gonna fix. Does that taste good? Yeah, it does. <laughs> Alright, let's get this fix and get on the road. Alright, he's working. He took off without me. Let's go. We did roughly 12 miles, um, and now we're back at the cars. We're making up some lunch. Um, now, don't judge, but this is actually really freaking good. So what we have is Spam ramen, and once the Spam is done, we're gonna cook a couple eggs, and then you put it all together. So ramen, and then Spam, and then eggs. Surprisingly really good. I've never had Spam before, but Evan got me hooked on this meal when we went on a camping trip. It's phenomenal. You should give it a try. Um, but yeah, we're gonna eat and have a drink. And then we got about five more hours of trail riding to go. All right, so I told you not to judge, but this is it right here. Look at that. You got your eggs, your Spam, and your ramen. It's incredible. Give it a shot. I encourage you, you won't regret it.
got in 22 miles. Three hours and what? 50 minutes. Almost four hours of riding. We're calling it quits because this guy's tired. Yeah. But I'm tired too, so. Uh, anyways, uh, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for the next video. Uh, let's see. Let's recap the trail actually really quick. So, um, Rainbow Falls Trail is a great OHV trail, um, but there's also a lot of great spots for you to off-road in your four-wheel drive vehicle. Uh, so, there are plenty of places to park and camp. You can uh, do, you know, primitive camping. Uh, there's spots all over the place. And, let's see. Good obstacles. I, mean, I hit some really hard stuff on the four-wheeler that would even be difficult for the Jeep uh, not just on the uh, OHV trails but on just the regular off-road trails uh, for highway vehicles so uh, great spot <laughs> be sure to check it out uh, and anyways uh, as always adventure is calling are you gonna answer